Being homeless and addicted to drugs is no joke. If you find yourself in this situation, it is possible to change your life and come back from it. I know, I was a homeless meth addict for almost 10 years. If this has happened to you or a family member or a friend, don't lose hope. Today I will inform the class about my road to recovery by focusing on three artifacts from my home. My newspaper article, my Superman flash drive, and my picture of my mom. Using these artifacts, I will reflect on a few topics from our textbook, including significant others, a fallacy, and self-disclosure. The first artifact that I want to show you all is my framed newspaper article. When you walk into my apartment to your left, hanging on the wall, is a framed picture of me. This picture was taken on Thursday, December 17th, 2015 in the computer lab at Oakhurst Community College. More importantly, it was taken six months after the last time that I used methamphetamines. Along with the picture is a story about when I started to get clean off drugs. The title of the article is Hope Reborn. It is a story about how I managed to finally get clean and turn my life around after being a homeless druggie for almost 10 years. You know, I must be very important because when I quit using meth, it made the paper. When I was interviewed by Sierra Star, I knew I was going to disclose my addiction. In chapter three of Adler and Proctor's textbook, Looking Out, Looking In, it talks about some of the possible benefits of self-disclosure. The textbook states that there is no guarantee that your self-disclosure will trigger self-disclosures by others but your own honesty can create a climate that makes others feel safer and perhaps even obligated to match your level of honesty. See, in my heart, I wanted the world to know that if I could change, so could they. The second artifact that I want to show you guys is my Superman flash drive. Super cool. Uh, the flash drive is very special. You can hold eight gigabytes, it comes with four free tattoos and is also a choking hazard. It probably costs around $8 on Amazon. The real reason why it's so special is because it was given to me by Madera County Judge Ernie Lukowski when he dismissed my case. The judge was releasing me from five-year felony probation almost three years early. He told me it was for me to use in school, but reminded him of me because I must be Superman to turn my life around that quick. He also got up out of his chair and walked over to give me a hug when he gave it to me. It represents two years of hard work trying to get on the good side of the law. I completed a nine-month drug program and a nine-month DUI class all while working, attending college, and trying to get my life together. Today is June 4th, 2018. Just so happens three years ago today, I decided to get clean and sober. I know I will always be an addict in recovery, and this is how I perceive myself, what our textbook would call my self-concept. The last article I want you all to see is my picture of my mother, who isn't with us anymore. Yeah, it's her on her jet ski uh, with her dog, Candy, taken, I don't know how long ago. Uh, that's my mom. Uh, I keep her picture in my office. She's always watching me when I do my homework. Put her back. Uh. I know she's up there in heaven looking down on me. In chapter 3 of Adler and Proctor's textbook, Looking Out, Looking In, it describes... A significant other is someone whose opinion we especially value and that we can use them as ego boosters. I strive to make her proud. She is still a powerful force in my life. If you read about the fallacy of helplessness in looking out, looking in, Adler and Proctor states that the mistakes in statements like these become apparent after you realize that you can do many things if you really want to. All my mother ever wanted was to see me successful. And this picture is my constant reminder that she is watching and proud. Every time I come home, I walk in and I feel proud of what I have made for myself. 
Having a home was not normal for me in my 20s. My newspaper article, my Superman flash drive, and my picture of my mother are constant reminders to myself that I'm doing the right thing when I just don't use drugs for one more day of my life. My self-disclosure could possibly help other people that have drug problems as I did. Using my story, maybe they believe they can do it too.